If you're sitting with someone right now, how close are you sitting? A science journal published a new study today about personal space and just how much most people need to feel comfortable. So we sent the CBC's Chris Brown to find out from Canadians how close is too close. And so she is heated. When it comes to invading personal space, no one's quite mastered it like the big league baseball manager. Getting right in someone's face is pretty unsettling. So how long are you folks in town? <laughs> this Seinfeld episode about the close talker nailed it. How about you, Jerry? <laughs> Former U.S. President Lyndon Johnson was notorious for getting close to unnerve opponents. His technique had its own term too, the Johnson treatment. The correct distance varies with person, the other person, the social situation, the culture, what they're talking about, etc. British researchers, though, think they may have quantified the precise distance when close becomes too close. The study, conducted by the University College of London and published today in the Journal of Neuroscience, tested the blinking reflex of 15 subjects. The closer an object got to their face, the more they blinked. The conclusion, 20 to 40 centimeters, depending on the person, is the boundary of the personal space bubble. So, we decided to do our own little social science experiment at a Vancouver mall. I walked up to people and got uncomfortably close. Now you're moving away from me. Yes. <laughs> Turns out for her, 40 centimeters or 16 inches wasn't far enough away. As I said, about an arm's length away. That's, and what get any closer than that and I'm gonna move back. This man was curious about why I'd sit beside him with so many other seats open. If you sat really close, I would worry maybe you have a mental problem. You know, I would sort of feel like, oh, okay, what's, what's with this guy? How, how close is too close for you? Uh, that's, that's a little close right there, yeah. I think about, yeah, about that or a little bit further back is probably better. University of Victoria professor Richard Gifford has studied personal space extensively. We learn all these rules as we're growing up, uh, but we're not usually, we couldn't really state the rules. We just learn them uh, as, as we go along. This woman spent a lot of time in crowded cities in India growing up. She felt the most comfortable with the least personal space, according to our ruler. Where do you think yours is? between that oh maybe where you are right now you're quite close though that's like nine inches mm -hmm. interestingly the people who didn't seem to mind how close i sat were the ones absorbed on their smartphones chris brown cbc news vancouver